but look at that regrowth. <gasps> All of that darkness is regrowth. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is all about my hair. Now I have done a couple of posts on it before um, but I'm always been asked like what am I doing lately with my hair? I'll take you through it today. What I'm doing at the moment. Um, this video is sponsored by Pantene and I have been using their products for I think over a year now come to think about it and they've just introduced this waterless collection which is basically what it just says it's no water and you can use it in between wash days and I've always been one to try and stick to doing something in between those two times washing your hair and conditioning your hair what am I doing to look after it and just keep it looking good if I can basically anyway so I'm going to take you through what I'm doing with it introducing the collection as well so you can see how I'm using it and just having a good hair day experience and yeah let's get stuck in also I want to touch a little bit about just talking about natural hair especially as a black woman I think god look at my hair <laughs> especially as a black woman I just want to talk to you a little bit so it's gonna be a little bit chatty as well just about just our thoughts on um, our hair and just how times have changed right like how we were always into like relaxing and pre anyway I'll talk about that a little bit further I'm gonna stop waffling from now anyway let me take you through my the Pantene waterless collection that I've been using as well I'll talk to you soon I skipped shampoo this time I just went in with the Pantene Gold Series Moisture Boost Conditioner and followed with the Pantene Gold Series Hydrating Buttercream Leave-In. Love these products, been using them for over a year now. This is how my look, my hair looks after it's um, wet and I just let it air dry. So I'm using the Pantene Mist Behaving Dry Conditioning Mist. Now this is just like a, it's almost like a leave-in. It's a cross between a leave-in and a conditioner in a way. So no way I can explain it. Anyway, so it's got no parabens, there's no sulfates in it, so it's not drying and quite small so I can like put it in a lot of my bags. So I'm going to take it with me when I'm going out. And it's nice to have something this size as well just to go out. But it's like when after I've washed my hair, conditioned it. If you want to know information about how I wash and condition my hair, I've done that before my channel and I'll leave the, that video for you below so you can check that out. But this is primarily just about what I'm doing in between. And I don't have to go through the whole you know washing my hair again or dampening and spraying it with water and then putting more products onto it again you know and waiting for that to dry you know that is eliminated i can just put that on instantly and just go out the door plus i can take it with me so it's perfect <music> on day two i'm heading into the city it is blazing it is hot as balls outside i have a bunch of stuff to do um i usually just pick out my hair with my afro pick just a little bit more sleeping overnight with the silk cap and sleeping on a sil silk pillowcase that always helps me i know i've told you a lot about that before but i will be taking with me the dry conditioning mist um, and i take it with me because it's so hot and because i'm outdoors and might have colored hair it has um, a propensity to just get drier so much faster and so i always like the idea of having something on me so that it stays sort of a little bit more moisturized during the day so i am heading out for the whole day like the size of the bottle it's small enough to just bung it in my bag actually there's something i realized that i want to buy in the shops um oh it's a new foundation right so this is my basket content um my wallet remember the beaded one i'm actually using a glossier pouch right now afro comb as you know pair of glasses of the size of this case um and then of course the pantene misbehaving dry conditioning mist and my phone a spare cloth bag in case i buy anything and what else oh i've got like a coupon here for sephora so yeah that's actually one of the reasons i'm going in uh, and a spare pair of glasses because I'm just that type of person that just can't make up their mind. All right, so that is it. I will see you lot later.
I just worked out and then I'll be gone for a few hours. So I'm using the Pantene Cheat Day Dry Shampoo Foam. And I like it because it has no sulfates in it. Just shake it for a little bit, it's a foam. And just rub it in between. And it dissolves completely so you don't really see it. And I just part my hair and I just put it right, right in the middle of my hair. And it just helps to just decrease it without drying it out. Because I don't want my hair to, to do that. I want it to stay quite soft. But it obviously, but it just dissolves any excess oil. But it just means that I've just been able to like cheat, you know, prolonging um, the time that I'm going to wash it again. So, so it's been great for that. Also, it has no um, alcohol, no parabens, and like I said, no no sulfates. Feel like it's oh, it feels so nice. It feels almost like you know, like menthol. It's not got menthol, but you know that feeling like when you just like cleaned your scalp that's the kind of feeling i have when i'm using this which is great so if any of you lot want to use something that you know is a dry shampoo but you don't want anything that's going to like just make your hair even drier then this is definitely something i would suggest trying and it hasn't done any problems it hasn't done anything to my hair it's been fine using it so it's been great and i just do that going all the way through my head god do i tell you wherever you apply it it's quite addictive on it actually feels cleaner like right in the roots which I like it's funny because um, I've toyed with the idea of dry shampoos and I used to try and use one years ago and I didn't like it at all it just literally dried up my hair plus it this like powder this residue this does none of that so it's great and like I said it does go actually my head does feel like it's got um like it's been cleaned a little bit inside which is nice okay also, I usually wash my hair on average, I wanna say, I've gone two weeks without washing my hair, but that's usually the maximum. I usually try and go like seven days-ish in between my wash days, um, because my hair, I don't want it to dry out too much, which is why it's important to use products that don't do that. Um, I've also used the dry, I've also used this dry shampoo spray if I am going out and I'm really hot and it's like sweated a lot and you haven't had the time to like wash your hair yet, or maybe you're just busy that day, you know today is not gonna be a wash day. I've just used the dry shampoo spray and it's not, like I said, it's not gonna frizz out your hair or dry out your hair. It just keeps it clean. Now to get some shopping done. In this morning and I've got to see a, a website developer so about my website which does need sorting out and if you're wondering what room I'm in this is the upstairs I'm in the bathroom it hasn't been renovated but it's larger than the downstairs bathroom so more on that later so this is my hair I still have the curl definition I still like to spritz it every day though a little bit with the dry conditioning mist to refreshen the curls a little bit more especially during the summer months and as I said before my hair is colored so it's just important to me to try something that's you know going to look after it and I don't have to turn around and you know get back in the shower rewash my hair re-wet it to make it refreshed let me head out now Go to one of my favorite cafes. I've got Fenty lipstick on. I'm gonna put a Fenty gloss bomb on top. is definitely better than not using anything. My hair just gets bigger and bigger. It just grows, literally. 
looked more and more but I actually like that because you can see I still have my curls but it's much more sort of like fluffy because I feel like the bigger my hair gets the more I sort of like it like that so that is how it is looking at the moment and I just really kind of like stretch it out as much as I can now because it acts like almost like a conditioning styling spray as well so it's perfect for right now didn't have time to do a whole like wash and deep condition session at home so times like this it is perfect to use okay so that is it that is everything okay so that is it that is kind of what I've been doing in between my wash days how I'm keeping my hair just kind of refreshed keeping the curls looking the way they do and just keeping it degreased if that makes any sense with a dry shampoo and I like the fact that that shampoo is not drying like what you associate with a dry shampoo and it also doesn't leave any sort of white in your hair it completely disappears which I like because I am not a believer in using shampoo like real shampoo every single time that I'm washing my hair anyway and as far as the dry conditioning spray that as well same reason i just like the concept of a waterless collection the fact that i can use something in between those wash days other things that i like to do with my hair like in between um, like i've mentioned before i like to sleep on either satin or silk pillowcases because there's less friction it's less drying same thing with when i towel dry my hair i say towel dry like that because i don't use a towel to dry my hair same principle with the sleeping pillow it's cotton it just sucks all the moisture out of my hair so i use an old t-shirt something that's much softer it still absorbs not in the same way but it's much kinder and gentler drink as much water and fluids as you can your hair needs it your body needs it your heck your skin everything about you needs it um, another thing i do in between when i'm washing my hair is i do not use um, I don't sit there and manipulate my hair all the time. I do wash and goes, which is basically what you're seeing right now. I wash my hair, I condition my hair, get out, let it air dry, and I just leave it. And then I just maintain it in between before the next wash day. Also, I'm very gentle with my hair, the way I manipulate it. All I want to do is just refresh my hair. So I hope that helps. Just being very careful, just being hands-free with my hair. Um, I won't use any brushes on my hair, any fine tooth combs. On. This is one of my favorites that I love to use all the time. You know, growing up from a child, there is this thing, isn't there, in the media that, you know, your hair has to be straight I mean this is speaking in general because times have really changed but I think that the the movement especially I'm talking about for black women the movement towards just loving your hair the way it is how it naturally comes out of your scalp and not altering it beauty is in so many different ways and in so many different forms I used to have my hair relaxed and straightened for all of my most of my adult life and it's really is such a nice feeling to to be able to 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 actually convince yourself like actually no your hair is gorgeous Karen love it the way it is you know and I think that's one of those things that you don't sort of uh, realize until you sort of ditch the relaxer go through the grow out transition process and then find products that are going to work for your natural hair you know I'm still learning I'm still um, you know sound off in the comments below if about if you're feeling the same way I'm still learning about my hair. It's still a process It's even more important to find products that I can use in between washing that will just keep it in tip-top condition So that you know, I really can you know, just get out the door and know that my hair is is looking good Yeah, I think it's it's a good conversation to have and thank you to Pantene for sponsoring this video and for Introducing me to the waterless collection. But obviously, I'm gonna want products gonna help it look good between wash days but along those lines I think it's an important message just about looking after your hair keeping it looking good I'd love to hear your thoughts on what made you decide to go natural enjoy the way it is the way all of this just all of that just oh I love all that oh, but look at that regrowth oh, all of that darkness is regrowth look at that oh my god how many inches is that Thank you for Pantene for introducing me to the dry conditioning spray and the dry shampoo as well, which is not drying, thank goodness. Wait, right, so let me know in the comments below. Oh God, that always rhymes. I need to find a way, a different way of saying that. I'd love to hear your thoughts about what made you decide to 
just go natural. I will see you lot next week, Friday. As you know, I do videos every single Friday and have a good weekend, my loves, as I always say. And you can follow me on Instagram to see everything that I'm doing between this Friday and next Friday so we can chat over there. Our differences, what makes us so unique, including our hair, has to be celebrated. And if this product is going to help me along the way with making sure it looks healthy, I'm all for it. Anyway, I will see you next week, Friday, my loves. Um, and that's it. Yeah. I'd love to hear your comments below on why you decided to go natural with your hair. It's really nice to just share it in one spot. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up if any of what I said resonated with you as well. And uh, as usual, my, my phone. Um, and I'll see you lot on next Friday's video. Some items that I got in and how to style them with things you've already got in your wardrobe. So I haven't done one of those in a while and I miss it and I look forward to it. Anyway, I'll see you lot next week Friday. Bye.